Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Sav, if you're new. We are going to be completing, what? <laughs> no, definitely not. Continuing our legacy challenge today. I got my joy burst as usual. This is a new Celsius for me right now, at least. I also had coffee this morning. Uh, I've been trying to cut out coffee as well. I normally don't have it, but I had one today and I'm really feeling it. That is one thing that I've noticed is when you don't ingest caffeine all the time and then you have some, you actually feel the effects of it, <laughs> which is quite nice. I am being very productive today. I woke up. I've filmed some stuff on my vlog. Also, um, I did upload a very in-depth tour of my stream room and I uploaded it to my vlog channel, which I will do another shameless plug here for it if you would like to see it. It's very old school room tour vibes. I really enjoyed filming it. It was really, really fun. And um, you guys seem to have a lot of questions about my setup, so it'll probably be answered in that video. I'll also link the video in the description just to make it easier. But anyways, enough about that. Super excited to film Legacy today. Um, I have been on a roll with this lately. So proud of myself. Um, a lot of you guys suggested that I get the more buyable businesses or more ownable, something like that. My Little Miss Sam's, it's a mod where you can actually purchase a bar. So I did download it so we can explore a little bit of that today. So yeah, enough rambling. Let's just get into it, shall we? I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Finally, also y'all mentioned that for rent is super bugged. So I'm a little bit scared about doing that whole thing with Evangeline. So maybe we should just move her out properly. I don't know. I just, I get attached to my Sims and I never want them to leave, but that's just a part of this challenge that I have to accept. Yeah, I'll probably just like give her a house key so that she'll come around all the time. Okay, we're back. We're back, we're back, we're back. Hi, Edison. He just got home from running the restaurant. I realized in the last part, my game audio was way louder than my voice. I apologize for that. Hopefully, uh, hopefully these levels are better. All right, so I'm thinking that maybe we should sell the restaurant. I wanna own a bar. So like, if we can end up buying one, that would be so much better. So like, let me just transfer. Let's transfer all the money back into our household funds. Gosh darn it, 97557. Whoa, hold on. Confirm. Oh my gosh! Edison completed his aspiration, baby. Okay, let me uh, really quick put this in my, my family tree so I don't forget. I'm trying really hard to keep track of everything. And uh, if you guys did not see my video about the Sims tree, this is a new family tree website to replace plum tree app. It's pretty great. So I transferred my legacy tree over here and uh, yeah, this is where I keep track of everything now. So um, let's go over to, let's see. I literally put every single Sim that's on the family tree on here. <laughs> um, okay, Edison, so we're gonna, we're gonna character traits, creative, geek, and genius. I always forget. I'll add his bonus traits later. Life goals. Um, we chose fab, fabulously wealthy, which we have just completed. Skills max, charisma. Let's select a new aspiration for him again. So the fabulously wealthy aspiration is honestly the easiest aspiration to complete for every single sim. 
in this uh, this house because we have a lot of money. So I think, hmm, what should we do for you? Honestly, like we could do Mansion Baron as well and probably complete that too. We could do this for every single sim. Purchase 20 columns. We can easily just like put down 20 columns and then remove them. Okay, 20 columns, check. All right, yeah. <laughs> that is so insane. Oh my God. Crystal trees that still have not sprouted. That's just great. Serial romantic would be fun. Soulmate maybe? Hmm. Oh my god, we could totally do neighborhood confidant. That would be easy. There's only one level of it. Successfully advise and influence the lives of other sims. Become good friends with five sims and achieve level seven charisma. So the only thing... <laughs> The only thing left is successfully advise and influence the lives of other sims. So, cool. Well, focus on that a little bit as well. Uh, how do you sell the business? Anyways, what's Sarah up to? Oh my gosh, she's doing her homework. What a good little girly pop. I love her. And thanks for cleaning up, Ren. I did notice it was a little stinky in here. What is this from? It's hideous from disliking the decor. She is so unhappy here. Like, I don't even know what to do at this point. She hates the decor. She is always staring at herself in the mirror like she doesn't know who she is. She doesn't speak to anybody. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't think it's working out. Like, I tried. I really did try. Uh, so let's look into how we can buy a bar. I think you do it on the computer. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Okay, it's under household. Little Miss Sam's viable venues. That's what it's called. So, buy a bar. We should probably place one before we do that. You know, we could just buy one of the ones that I already placed. Like maybe he went there all the time and um, maybe the owners were selling it or something and he was like, oh shoot, you know what? I'm interested. I've got all this sh money. Let me take it off your hands. <laughs> maybe it went up for sale like right after he bought his restaurant and he wasn't really enjoying the whole restaurant experience. Um, He's not like a food kind of guy. He's not a foodie. And oh yeah, this was the one that I really, really liked actually. So bowling source, yeah, let's buy that. I'm probably gonna rename it. First of all, who created this lot? I wanna give them credit because it's so freaking cute. Oh no, it's been uploaded so many times. I don't even know who the OG person is. It must be this Massey Swift person. All right, buy a bar, Edison. Let's do this thing. Let's do this thing properly. Hey, look, there it is. Bowling source. <laughs> Buying bar with campos. This is $106,074. Yes. It looks like it's working the exact same as when we bought the restaurant, which is cool. I wonder if there's going to be business perks and stuff like that. I don't know how this is going to work, but I'm excited to find out. Okay, and we have to pay bills on our... <laughs> Alright, yeah, I'm just going to... I'm going to transfer $2,500 into this business. Um, let's pay the bills really quick before I forget. And then... Now what? Now what? It's listed under our business. No, it's not. It's technically a retail. Oh my god, we can hire Louise. And we can hire Addison, who is family. Um, let's do... Uh, let's do Louise, though, first. We can only hire one employee at the moment. And I'm assuming that she's gonna be a bartender. We can mark up our prices. 
There's no stars though, which is fine. I wonder how this is gonna work. 6 a.m. on a Monday, let's just open anyways. No items for sale. I'm not trying to sell anything though. I wonder what happens if we don't, if we just like don't open. How does that work? People are just gonna show up like normal, right? Are we gonna make money? Wait, we just made 25. Wait, we're just like making money. Oh my God. It says that we're closed, but we're not. Nice, we have a proper celebrity in the house. This is pretty cool. Nice, there's a bartender here automatically. Someday. Who's this? Simone and Sarah. Lauren wow. Rosa. I don't really so, know. It kind of just looks like get the roof. we make money by That's being here. I wonder if give parenting tips will count towards our aspiration of advising and influencing. Very curious. Oh my god. Lauren's about to compliment us in a flirty way. Huh. <laughs> Do you think she's cute, Edison? Wait, where are you going? I need to see if you're cute. Oh, she left. Yeah, we're just making like money here and there. I'm guessing that like when people buy drinks or buy food or pay to go bowling, they uh, it just like goes into our bank account instead of our business funds. Which is fine. Dang, Edison's scoped right now and he doesn't think any anyone here is attractive. That is crazy. He's kind of picky, guys. She's really cute, though. Brianna Ham. So, so. Perceived as unattractive. Wow, really? She's cute. You're crazy. Oh. This proper celebrity is so humble. Bowling at our, our bar. Thank you so much. This is great advertising. Well, I mean, honestly, that is pretty straightforward. It's really easy, actually. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. We now own a bar. I need to figure out how to sell that restaurant, though, because I really don't want it anymore. With Edison, he can just own his bar, and instead of us focusing on careers with him and like trying to complete careers, we can um, try to complete as many aspirations as we can. I think that would be beneficial to us because the aspirations section of the Legacy Challenge is the one that we're lacking the most in. So, yeah. This is not accurate though. Like, we made a bunch of money and it just went straight into our household funds, so. Yeah, easy enough guys, easy enough. So I saw this TikTok, I think it was Emma, Emma Nicole, that if you click on your mailbox and you click sort through junk mail, you have an opportunity to get a 75% off coupon and you can use it on anything that you can buy from your phone or from your computer, which uh, pretty freaking clutch. Oh, See, we got one, we freaking got one. Look at that. Discount coupon, activate it to unlock 75% discount on any computer purchases. That is so cool. Like if you're doing like a rags to riches or something like that and you really need an expensive item, like, getting one of those coupons is so clutch. Sarah's back. Uh, it looks like she completed the first branch of her aspiration, which is amazing. Um, she just needs to reach level five social skill and make a BFF which is easy we can uh either be bffs with edison or get her a real bff <laughs> uh she met a couple kids at school today austin and Kason. a lothario and a villa real would you look at that two of the og families hmm that could be interesting and then Ren got promoted again. I can't even believe it, dude. She is flying up the ranks, guys. She is level seven. So three more promotions and that's another career under her belt. You are rocking those career outfits, by the way. You look freaking amazing. 
<laughs> oh, and hello. Welcome back, Ted Meister. How you doing? She's feeling confident from climbing the ladder, clean air. She's tired and stressed from work. Oh, where did you get all of these plants? Did you harvest these from the garden? You must have. She isn't even going up to her bed to nap. She's napping in Ren's house. You know, now that Ren's a lawyer, I think that her house makes so much sense and it's it's giving it's giving lawyer vibes for sure. <laughs> I love it. I wish you spent more time in here. Anyways, so the garden is trash. It still looks really bad. Actually, oh, hang on. The bugs have disappeared and some of the weeds have disappeared as well. Are you telling me that they fixed it? Please tell me. That would be so amazing. Let's see what happens when she tends the garden. Also, who's calling Edison? Uh, you're clearly a good person to know. All right, Crystal. Sure. Oh my god! Guys, it's working! Oh, thank god. Baby Jesus, thank you so much, Sim, Sim Gods. All right, Sarah, let's get you up. You've been napping since you got home from school. Uh, why don't you just have some cereal from your little lunchbox here? And then I'm gonna get you to work on your social skill a little bit. I think that the fastest way to do that is probably in the chat room on the computer. What are you off to do? Oh, everyone loves this lunchbox. They don't wanna cook. This is not a cooking gen. I wonder if we make her take a steamy shower and get her like a little bit flirty, if she will do anything to Edison. All right, it didn't even make her flirty. She's got a flirty mood lit, but uh, I just don't know. Aw, look at these cuties. They're just having a little oh, chit chat outside. I love it. Okay, maybe we can like work on our social skills with dad then. I know they go up really fast when you do the, I think when you just talk, to be honest. Okay, it's flying up now. <laughs> All right, she maxed it. Easy as that. Actually, she didn't max it, sorry. We just had to get to level five for her aspiration. So the next one is make a BFF, so. Uh, we could just become best friends with dad right now and then um, find a find a BFF that's more around her age after. Are we about a Max's aspiration? I don't know. No, we got one more branch. Become friends with three other children, become friends with two adults and achieve level 10 social skill. All right, I think we can do that. Hopefully. Another death, but the only phone that's ringing is Rocky's. What is happening? It is Christmas Eve. I should probably buy a Christmas tree at least. And um, yeah, Christmas Eve, we're just supposed to like bake and hang out. Maybe we can invite some of the family over. Okay, yeah. We gotta decorate, festive spirit, drink, bake, and have festive lighting. I don't even think we have a decoration box. And then let me um let me get like a little bar cart or something so that we can have drinks as well. Ren, why don't you come over here and uh, actually put up decorations? That's automatic. Uh, That's odd. Why would they put a different decoration on this roof than, than this roof? I don't like it. I'm taking them down. And then we're gonna... Let's select them this time. Okay. That's how they look on the fence. Pretty. And look, everything's getting progressively snowier and snowier. Ooh! Neat for Evangeline? Hell yeah, I actually love that. Oh, so pretty. Everything just getting snowy and snowy on Christmas Eve is so beautiful. Why are you not putting up the decorations, bro? I don't know what an Eve or a spandrel is. I'm not even gonna lie. I have no idea. But like, for some reason, the roofs aren't getting their decorations up. I know what fences are, so that was obvious, but like everything else. 
I can't get over how pretty the snow is right now. Everything is just like lightly dusted. There we go. There we go. Okay, that looks a little better. All right, well, Ren, your vampire energy is super low, so let's go ahead and sleep. Well, I put this food table out for later. I also got us a globe bar, a tree that we can decorate. Um, yeah, but that won't be until later. I love that her and Ren get along so well. I always catch them just chatting randomly. <laughs> I swear, she's always just by herself doing, I don't even know what. Oh my gosh, should we do a slumber party tonight? with some family members and then wake up and it's Christmas. How cute would that be? Who shall we invite though? Definitely Wilson, cause that's our bestie. I think probably just family. So like we can do, man, I don't even know who half these people are. We could do Crystal. One of Luna's daughters, Rothio. Maybe we can invite some other people later as well. Um, let's do 5 p.m. I think that would be cute. Alright, um, so I guess we should start baking some stuff. Um, because that's one of the little little uh quests for this. So sugar cookies, yes. Why are you gardening, my girl? Like, did Ren ask you to do that? Please stop. Oh, there's mom just doing a little dancey dance like she always does and doesn't freaking talk to anyone. Look at all the lights on the fences. This lot is popping right now. Manami, what are you doing here? This is Bay. No, not Bailey. Bellamy's ex. His baby mama. Ooh, who's calling Teddy? Congratulations on that big promotion at work. You deserved it. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, girl, get in the spirit. Ah. Oh my goodness. So many new personality traits in this one, guys. Squeamish for Edison. Why does that fit him so much? I really do get the vibes. I do. I hope you guys understand what I mean, but absolutely, yes, we're doing it. All right, sugar cookies, done. Brownies, done. They look great as well. Normal, normal, not bad. Eventually made some breadsticks. Mm, roast duck on Christmas Eve? That's more like a Christmas thing, but I think we're just gonna be celebrating today, TBH. What else do we wanna serve? Sweet buns. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Almond macaroons. Breadsticks can go right here. And then one more thing. Probably uh, roast chicken, I guess. Duck and chicken. That's fine. Wow, fancy. I want to put the chicken like right, right here. And it looks like everyone is freezing. Uh, do we not have a thermostat in this house? Yo, that's crazy. How could I forget that? Hi, family. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Christmas Eve Samba Party. Uh, enjoy the food. Negroni platter. Yes, please. Oh, this is a this is family too. Brendan Bowie. Yeah. Sarah, why don't you come over here and give him an introduction? You need to make three child friends. So let's get let's get busy with that. Oh, Wilson! That's a lovely sweater you're wearing, my guy. So nice. Wow, what a nice spread we've got. This table is so beautiful. Hey, Fupa. Gosh, those sweet buns look so bomb. <laughs> I want them. I need to learn how to make them. Oh my god, that would be amazing. Sweet buns, baby. Looks like everyone's going for those. I don't blame you. Gosh, Rothio is so beautiful. Sorry, I didn't mean to put you on the spot like that. All right, yeah, it's tree decorating time. I don't know why I went with blue, but... <laughs> 
It looks pretty good. I think it's cute. Let's just finish decorating the tree and then, uh, hmm, what after? I don't know, my sims are being kind of boring right now. They're not really talking, they're kind of just standing around. Who the hell peed on the floor? That's sick! Right by the Christmas tree to boot? Ew, and they're all stepping in it. Oh, okay, so you'll talk to Wilson, but you won't talk to us, huh? I see how it is. I see how it is. Looks like Wilson's squeamish as well, so him and Edison have that in common. What the hell? Okay. That's a really pretty tree, guys. You did great. Now we just need a present pile for the morning. This is such a cute tree. I love it. It's right by the fireplace. Super adorable. All right. Well, it is 4 a.m. So let's go ahead and go to bed. Uh, who is asleep? Evangeline. Why? I don't really know how sleepovers work. I thought they were supposed to like bust out their sleeping bags and go to sleep. But I guess not. Oh no! Oh, Maxi! Poor baby. That's Rocky's mom. She passed away. Poor dog. Not on Christmas. That is just so messed up. All right, Christmas morning means pancakes, obviously. Oh my goodness, guys, look. Sarah has this moodlet that says something's not right. Sarah has a horrible feeling that something isn't quite right with one of her guardians. Yeah. Yeah, I get that feeling too, girl. You are not alone. Teddy has definitely been been off lately, that's for sure. What could it possibly be though? Like why is the game saying that? Ren, don't eat those! Girl, it's gonna make you sick. She's like, yeah, 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 I know. I was just being polite. <laughs> She's talking on the phone to Mari right now. Ah, uh, while well, she's taking her morning poop. So, Wilson, my guy, enthused about new show. How you doing? Ew, you're disgusting. All right, let's just quickly open presents and get back to uh, to normal life. <laughs> I feel like Christmas is so exhausting sometimes. Trying to check all the boxes. It's a lot, bro. <laughs> Spice of Life Spice Rack for Teddy. Evangeline gets... Oh, she doesn't look pleased. Uh, train set for Evangeline? I guess, bro. Bro, what is my game right now? I don't even know. Oberoi! We got a coffee machine for Edison, even though we already have one, but that's fine. Sarah gets golden ticket marbles game ring. Ooh, fun, marbles. Ren got a postcard. <laughs> All right. Not the maid vacuuming the puddle. I hate when they do that. Ooh, Freddy's calling. What's up? When are you gonna come visit? Yeah. Yeah, that's a good question. She's thinking about her mom too, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna send Teddy over there for a little visit. They're probably super sad because Maxi died. They have a new baby. I think that uh, Teddy should be spending some time with them. Did the baby age up yet? Yeah, it's a redhead baby, cute. Cute, cute, cute. Oh my god! I just saw something. When it said to choose who she was gonna go, like, visit the house with, Wilson was on there. And they have a little bit of romance. When did that happen? 
Oh my god, I'm so mad that I missed that. They must have flirted or something during during the slumber party. Well, let's let's have a closer look. Yeah, they have romance. Oh my god, bro. <gasps> Holy cannoli. Romantic interest. Snob. Why do I feel like that's such a good trait to have with a proper, like, to have with a proper sim? Like, proper and snob just go really well together. All right. Well, I'm just going to leave you here, you cheating whore. Hmm. Very interesting. I do not know how to proceed. That's crazy. With our best friend. Why is it always our best friend? <laughs> uh, I'm not even gonna lie. That has happened to me before. Heartbreaking, honestly. I'm no longer friends with this person. Don't y'all worry your little heads, but still. All right. Well, um, okay, Sarah, I'm gonna need you to do your homework real quick. And then you, my good sir, let's go to our bar. We already did all the Christmas stuff with our family, so I kind of want to see what's popping at the bar tonight. Very interesting, guys. Very, very interesting. My head is reeling right now. All right, who's here? Who do we got? Shigeru. Anyone up at the bar? Umber. We got Mr. Lauren Landgrab as the bartender tonight. Let's get ourselves a drink. I don't even know what Edison's favorite drink is. Did we figure that out yet? I think we have. I think it's beer. Also, do we get free drinks? <laughs> or does the money just... Oh, no, it was not free. That's fine. I guess somebody's got to pay for it, right? Oh my god, Wilson's here. Wait, is there a club gathering going on? I didn't even start that. That's weird. Oh, it's not beer. It's Edison. What is that? Oh my god, that's pissing me off. It's brown with a lime wedge. Oh, it's a dark and stormy. Okay. Dark and stormy. I don't know what that is. Is that like a rum and coke or something? Oh my gosh! We got one! We freaking got one! I always have him scope his surroundings while we're out just to see. Just to see, you know? And he never finds anyone attractive, but we found one. This is actually one of my Stardew Valley Sims. This is freaking Abigail. Everyone loves Abigail. <laughs> Everyone always freaking marries her in in Stardew. Um, so yeah, we should probably introduce ourselves, see how they get along board. Hi, I own this place. How are you? My name is Edison. Are you having a good Christmas? Oh god, she's married though. To Kellen. Hmm. Interesting. What are your traits? Do you want to be in my club? Like, ooh, what's the vibe? <laughs> Let's just get to know her a little bit. Are we gonna break up a marriage? Should we break up a marriage? Should it just be a one night stay? Should it be anything? I don't know. Music lover, another music lover. Gloomy. Okay, cute, cute. Gloomy is a unique trait for a spouse. Abigail is a backhoe operator at Green Fist Garden Solutions. Okay, so she's a gardener. Oh my god, it's Bellamy! The man, the myth, the legend. Um, I'm trying to think of how Bellamy is related to Edison. So he is one of Stella's sons. So that makes him brother of Zoe. So that makes him our uncle. Okay. He's a pretty freaking sick uncle though. He looks like he'd be a good mentor, but I don't know. <laughs> He's had like a million babies with a million different women, which oddly is like on brand. I don't know how to explain it. 
All right, everyone had a successful winter fest. That's what I like to see. I love this place. It's so cool. There's so many people. They're really, they're into it. They're into it. They're drinking, they're playing games. They're bowling. It's a vibe, guys. It's a vibe. We just became good friends with Melanie. Nice. Yo, wait your turn, my guy. I'm still throwing here. And what is this outfit, my girl? I really... I, I just don't know. All right. It's almost 5 a.m. We should probably head home. It looks like everyone is still awake, though. I wonder if Teddy came back. Oh, she did come back. She's happy because she had a good holiday. This family's sleeping patterns are so messed up. I'm home. Hi, everybody. How was the rest of your Christmas? Anyways, Miss Ma'am, did you finish your homework? Yes! You did. I also love the idea that you guys had about Sarah being more of like a country girl. Um, like farm animals, horses, all that jazz. So I think that would be really fun to explore in the next generation. Like when she ages up. Um, I have been wanting to explore all of that in this challenge, so yeah, we can definitely get a bunch of animals in the next in the next in the next gen, not the next one, but the next gen. I think that would be really cute. Honestly, like even getting her a horse right now would be pretty cute. TV season premiere, huh? Nice. Rocky passed out right by his food bowl. Love that for you. <sighs> well, her and Edison are both just, oh my God, wait, what? She is autonomously going to serenade Edison. Where did this come from? Are you feeling guilty? Oh. He is not going to the bathroom while she's singing it. Maybe he's just gonna be like, I don't know what you're trying to do, but we literally haven't spoken or done anything in ages. Should we talk about marriage with her? I wonder what she's gonna say or how she's gonna react. He liked it. That was so weird. Ibarra? Wicked out. Oh my god. She brushed him off. She she literally said no. What Okay, what if we do it again? Are you going to brush this off again? <gasps> oh hell no. If you're not trying to get married, literally what are you trying to do? Like what are we doing? Demand a temporary separation? He's yeah, like, you don't want to get married? Well, honestly, that's not going to work for me, babe. It's not. No offense, but like, we have a child. And if you're not trying to get married, like what? What are we doing here, honey? What are we doing? Teddy and Edison are now separated. This status represents a potentially temporary break in a relationship. Teddy can let things drift and eventually decide to give up on this relationship or fight for it and try to save this love. The separation menu as well as interactions of all types will influence what happens next. <gasps> 
spicy. So this is from the Woohoo Wellness mod, by the way, guys, if you're interested. Relationship pause. He's dazed from it. And she's just, what is this? Aggravating conversation, relationship pause, and in the presence of death. So what can we do then? Express suspicions about closeness with? What? I didn't know you could do that. We should totally do it about Wilson. Oh my God, no freaking way. You're tripping. I don't know what you're talking about. That's your best friend. Girl, I have the receipts, honey. Oh, oh man. Wait, what? Learning about cheating. <gasps> she admitted it? Oh my god, she admitted it. <gasps> Confess to cheating. Oh my god, you guys. Holy crap! That is insane, dude. Oh my god, look at their relationship now. <gasps> oh, good grief. Oh, Jesus. Okay, um, I think that we need to move her. We need to move her back in with her parents for now. Um... I guess we'll see if she like tries to fight or apologize. Holy crap. They're literally napping in the same bed together after that. Wow. That is actually insane. I didn't know you could do all that with this mod though. I wonder if it's like random, if the Sim will confess or not. Or if they confess every time, if you confront them about it. Oh my god, I wonder if that ruined his relationship with Wilson as well. They had like the littlest sliver of romance. I have no idea what they did. It was probably just like a little flirt. But... Oh my god, that's so crazy. Okay. Um, I'm not saying this is going to be permanent. It really depends on if she fights for us or not, but I am going to move her back in with her parents for now. Dang, that took a turn. I have been wanting the game to give me some sort of sign because you guys know how like confused I've been about this whole situation. I had no idea what to do. Mmm, thank you game. Sometimes you come through for me. I guess we just go on with our life and see if Teddy expresses that she wants us back or not. I doubt it. <laughs> I highly freaking doubt it, but poor guy. Okay, let's see. How's your relationship with Wilson? It's still perfect. Very interesting. Oh God, he's pissed. He woke up so pissed because she left. I don't know what you expect, my guy. She just confessed to cheating on you and you took a nap and she dipped. Damaged trust. Ah, to believe that your most loved one is truthful in their affections, only to hear them say they gave them to another. Be it for the woohoo only or be it more than that, cheating is cheating and Edison heart, Edison's heart aches. My poor boy. Well, how about... Abigail. I heard he became friends with Bellamy. He's pretty cool. Oh. Okay, I guess that was a bad one. Let's take another. It's not our last one. No, it's not. Maybe we should text Abigail back. I know that she's married. Send an angry text. No, just send a regular text. Okay, he's feeling better now. He's still got the moodlets, but he's more happy than anything at the moment. Explain cheating situation. No way we can tell people about it. Oh, we're absolutely telling Evangeline. 
100%. This is our twin, bro. Elfin. I wonder if we can tell Sarah. She's like, oh my god. With Wilson? That's like family. At least they got a good sentiment about it. Wouldn't it be funny if you were a twin in The Sims and there was like special social interactions that you could have with them? Like, like bonding. You know what I mean? Like twin bonding. That would be so cute. All right. He's feeling better. He's feeling confident. He's a little bit tipsy. Well, I'm glad you're feeling better about the situation. Let's go over to our bar and see what's good over there. <laughs> All right, gang. First things first. Oh my gosh, look, it's William. Hi, William. That is one of Felix's children. Um, let's just get one of our favorite drinks here. I love that we're seeing a lot of our family here. This is really nice. They're probably coming because they know it's family owned. Oh, why are you angry? Don't be angry, it's okay. <laughs> Darko. Oh my god, we can support his facial hair? I just saw it, and I think that's amazing because he's got this, like, crazy-ass mustache. Um... Let me see, what is it? Re cousin, he's our cousin. Oh, nice. I love that. Whoa, look at this guy. Jonah Rosa. He's very interesting looking. Sarah met Rodolfo while at school. Nice, nice. <laughs> so, so. Shuna. Zabo. Uh, Let's get hammered, guys. Oh, He's tipsy see. right now. What happens if we just keep drinking? Oh. Hey, Bellamy. The gang's oh, all here. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my God. Why are you here? This is Teddy's mom. <gasps> Can we talk about the tell about temporary separation? I'm not gonna tell her about the cheating part because I don't know what Teddy told her, but we should explain why Teddy is at home at least a little bit. It's super dark in here. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I'm so sorry to hear about your separation. These are difficult times. But in the end, it may be for the best. But all hope may not be lost either. Well, that's sweet advice. I think that's definitely something an in-law would say. Are we drunk yet? Tipsy, feeling flirty. Got game like an alcohol-induced Casanova. <gasps> no way. Mm. Oh, wait, who's this? Isn't this Rodolfo? That's the, that's the kid that Sarah literally just met at school. What are you doing here, my guy? This girl is always here as well. Who are they? Uh, Tia and Zot. Oh my God. How do you pronounce that? Sochil. Zochil? Sochil. 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 All right. Okay, he's drunk. He's wasted, actually. Dag. He likes idealist sims. Sims are gifted when it comes to endeavors of creativity. They usually enjoy music or art pursuits. Okay. Yeah. Ah, no, they have good compatibility. And he thinks she's attractive. Interesting. She's adorable. Oh, Yaffa. Lark him! Ah. Oh. Where is he? Sakava. Wayne Fabano. Chita Buna. Dude, he keeps Our getting job offers. Smart. First it was culinary and now it was astronaut. Like, bro, chill. I don't want a job. Uh, Leave our. 
Hey, our maid is here. Hi, Manami. This is pretty cute, guys. Hi, Lilith. <laughs> I've never had a woohoo partner in The Sims. Like, I've never asked someone to be woohoo partners before. Maybe, like, instead of immediately jumping into a new relationship, you would just want that. Aw, Evangeline got promoted as well. Good for you, girl. Oh my god, no! Teddy's here, why? Did she come looking for us? Are you leaving? Did she see us playing games with that girl? Oh my god, we can ask reasons. Ask reasons for having cheated. Wait, did she leave? Oh shoot, I think she's gone. Where's that girl we were hanging out with? Did she dip out too? Oh, she's right here. Oh, she left. Okay. Bye! Um, I'm gonna add her on social, Bunny. I like to do this now whenever we meet someone. Oh yeah, Teddy! Lunch is a great time to make some friends. Who wants to be besties? That so sounds like something someone would post, like, after a breakup. Is she trying to make us jealous or something? It's not working. The girl that we were trying to pursue has left the building. Teddy is posting thirst traps. <sighs> Festering bitterness. Feeling bitter about someone nearby. Oh, man. She knows we own this business. I really wonder why she showed up. She probably showed up, saw us playing foosball with Zochil. I'm gonna have a problem pronouncing that name. Zochil? Uh, and then dipped out. But I really would like to ask her her reasonings for cheating. I wonder if there's different reasons that the Sim can say. Anyways, let's just head to bed. What's Sarah doing? Oh, um, she's, uh, she's super uncomfortable because she has a loose tooth right now. Why is the gardener here at 1 a.m.? I understand our garden is a lot, but like, you don't gotta work that late into the night. Good grief. Yes, go home. Goodness gracious. Has Red mastered pet training yet? Wait, yes she has. Oh my god, never mind. <laughs> I think that was like one of the first uh, skills that we maxed for her, actually. Sarah lost her tooth. She can wait a while for a new tooth to appear. Can Electra fix missing tooth? All right. Well, what can we do with this tooth? Place tooth under pillow and sleep. Mm. Oh my god, she's late for school. Go, my dear. Oh my god, Edison is hungover. You poor thing. Why don't you come and get some water? Get some water and make yourself like a super oh, greasy breakfast. Also, like his sad and angry moodlets are already gone. Maybe his hangover is just like over <laughs> overtaking everything else. Alright, guys, I think that this is a good place to leave it. A lot happened in this episode, and again, like, super stoked that this game made the decision easier for me. I can't wait to see what's gonna happen, if she's gonna try and contact us or not. Also, he has met a couple girly pops this episode. Uh, Zochil, good compatibility. I still don't know her traits, though. He also thought Abigail was cute, but Abigail is married. And Edison doesn't really strike me as a homewrecker. But you guys are gonna have to let me know what you think. So in the next one, New Year's Eve is tomorrow, so we're gonna be celebrating that. And then, yeah, we're just gonna keep going on the skills and aspirations and all that. Sarah does not age up for a while, um, but that's okay. I really wanna complete her aspiration as well. I love you guys so freaking much. Thank you for watching this video. As always, leave me comments, tell me what you think, and I will see you guys in the next one. Alright guys, I love you. I'll see you soon.